So I understand from Mitt Romney that corporations are people, my friend. Well, it turns out he thinks that because corporations, of course, were helping him. And they help a lot of politicians. Really interesting story out of Huffington Post here that tracks how the new trend is if you're a human being and you can't directly give money to a politician, that's okay. You just become a corporation and then you give it to a super PAC and boom, money's laundered. So the guy who, I don't know if he really started it, but really perfected this process was Mitt Romney. Back in 2012, he got a million dollar donation. It was, that's okay, it was from a super PAC called Restore Our Future. Okay, well, it's for the super PAC, so the Supreme Court says it's okay. Well, where did the super PAC get the money from? Well, they got it from W Span LLC. What the hell is that? Nothing really, it's just a corporation set up by, oh, will you look at that? Bain Capital Executive Ed Conrad or Conard. Um, now, that makes sense. That executive is a former co worker of Mitt Romney. And a good friend of his. Now the problem is he couldn't just write him a million dollar check, but if he was a corporation, he could. So he just all of a sudden became a corporation. Starts W Span LLC, then gives it to a super PAC. Boom, boom. His friend has a million dollars, perfectly legally. Even though if he just wrote it himself, it would be perfectly illegal. Voila. See, corporations have special rights. They have all of our human rights, and then they have rights on top of that. Okay. So by the way, it's not just Republicans doing this. It's Democrats too. Senator Mark. Warner from Virginia, same little trick. He got money from a, a pack called Virginia Progress, because he's from Virginia, and they want to make progress over there. <laughs> uh, but that was from a corporation, Alcantara LLC. Who the hell is Alcantara LLC? They just came about. Oh, they're connected to another corporation. They're a subsidiary of MicroStrategy. Oh, okay, good. And who is MicroStrategy's CEO? Oh, well, you look at that. Longtime friend of Mark Warner, CEO Michael Saylor. This is just how they launder the money. And Bill Allison, an expert in the field, explains, it would be against the law if a donor would come up with an alias and call himself Danny Deep Pockets and give a million dollars. But it's not against the law if he comes up with it in it with an LLC. And an LLC is a limited liability corporation. So now they've sprung up everywhere. <laughs> They're in a race for Ohio Secretary of State. A quarter of a million dollars went to John Husted. And they're like, where the hell did this money come from? Well, it came from a super PAC named Advancing Freedom Action Network. I love the names. And okay, good, where is that? Where did the money come from there? Well, it came from a corporation, you see the pattern here. And that was from American Dream Fund LLC. Uh, here's one thing we know, they love America and freedom and dreaming. And they also, it's okay, because they got it from a different corporation, CT Corporation System. And who did they get it from? No one knows. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. They just keep laundering the money. It's, at some point, it's somebody who wants a favor from John who's dead. So they just gave him a quarter of a million dollars. And this is the legalized bribery we have in America. Gee, I wonder why we set up Wolfpack. Do you, anybody think this is a democracy? Anybody think that this doesn't corrupt the politicians when they get million dollar checks handed to them, $250,000 checks, and they do the money laundering to launder that, those obvious bribes to them? Only one way to clean this up. You put an end to the whole thing, you do an amendment. You say, none of this nonsense, I don't care what the Supreme Court says in terms of, oh, I think corporations are human beings and they have all the constitutional rights of human beings, plus they have these special rights. And, and then on top of that, they can give unlimited money and it doesn't look like it's corrupting our politics at all. That's what Justice Kennedy said. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I know what you think. 97% of Americans think that American politics has been corrupted. And what is it corrupted by? The money, Lebowski, wolf-pack.com.